subscribe to my channel. Hey everybody, it's Gemma here again and today I'm going to be looking at some hair extensions. If you've followed my channel for a while you know that sometimes that I like to wear like clipping hair extensions and I can't be bothered getting like ones to stay in my hair all the time. I always wear these clipping ones. The ones that I had were like really blonde from when my hair was really blonde so I couldn't have them anymore. Um, so I needed some with like the ombre look and I found these, oh, I've opened it without showing you the top of the box, by Goo Goo, funny name, I think it's a Chinese company. Goo Goo, uh, no tangle, no shedding, top quality, your beauty, it's our greatest pursuit. Um, that says that there. Um, so that's what the box looks like and, and you could see your hair that you got. So I got these ones, it is 100% human hair. Hopefully it hasn't come from dead bodies and corpses, which I, I honestly believe it probably does. And um, that freaks me out a bit. But usually it's like poor people that are selling their hair from different countries, which is quite sad really. And then it makes me think you probably shouldn't be buying this hair, but then I let's not go into that um so it comes with the hair uh on the, on the top and then inside which was a surprise because i didn't know you were going to get something free and you get some fake eyelashes which are like really big ones aren't they um fake eyelashes there it doesn't say a brand in but they are in a really nice hard case with like a glittery background so they look nice and then you get a little card saying goo goo Dear, uh, just says dear, dear, thank you for your purchase. Our shop often holds promotional activities. You can scan the QR code into the shop or pay attention to our inns. You can contact us at any time and we will help you solve the problem ASAP. If you like our product, could you help us leave a positive review? After you leave, you can contact us. We will ship two 3D eyelashes to you to express our gratitude. Oh, you'll get more of those eyelashes if you leave them a review. Join Goo Goo Hair quickly. We will provide you with a high quality products and excellent service. Thank you again. Wish you a good day, Goo Goo Hair Sharon. Um, and then there, I shouldn't really laugh at somebody, but look at this girl. I don't know what, does this, that girl look a bit weird? I don't know, she's off Facebook. Um, and then that must be all their social medias. You can you can Facebook them, you can WhatsApp them, you can you can Instagram them. I haven't looked at their social medias yet. You don't normally get like a nice little card like that in hair extensions that I've had in the past. These were sixty pounds, by the way, so they were cheap. I always get cheap ones because I don't look after them that well, and I just don't wear them that often. So they're really only for occasion. Um, so I wouldn't spend like. I shed loads of money on them basically and then it's telling you keep the hair and the scalp clean before wearing make sure the hair is no tangle you go <laughs> you <laughs> you need to wash your hair often oh no no sorry you need to wash your hair after three days of wearing you can wash your hair every three days thanks for that information goo goo wash your hair with warm water and moisturizing shampoo and condition Wipe down from the middle, use a towel to twist off the water, it is best to dry naturally. Gently comb and brush the roots down to prevent tearing. When the hair is wet, do not sweep. They're talking about the hair extensions, aren't they? Not your hair. Um, <laughs> do not sleep and comb. When you sleep, you can put your hair in a ponytail or put it in pillowcase to prevent hair from knotting. So they're recommending, basically, that you can wear these in your hair for three days. I would never do that. I just wear them for like a day or evening if I'm going somewhere and that would be that. Now I have opened these, they're 18 inches and I have opened them because I took them to my hairdresser and this is where the story of this dark ass hair comes from because I took them to my hairdresser and I said could you match it because it's not quite matched and then she did this to my hair to match it so they're light at the end so I don't know why my hair is so dark at the end and they're not that dark they're probably they're probably a little bit darker the root of them of what my hair was yesterday before I'd had this done um 
there's no way does it need to be that dark but you probably can't tell with the ring light you probably just think i'm being dramatic anyway hopefully i can blend them somehow but that's really what i wanted the ends of my hair to be not this color i suppose they're okay matching so i'm going to put them in um quickly i'm not going to do like the bestest of jobs because it takes me ages to put these in to be honest um they're all wrapped round in this golden stuff the hairdressers said they felt really good for the price of them because hair extensions can be quite dear um these ones probably came from the corpse so that's why they were only 60 pounds i'm going to stop it now because that's not funny is it i watched a documentary once where they said that they took them from I'm sure I did, unless I've dreamt this in one of my weird dreams. So I'm just taking these ties out. I think my hairdresser, the hairdresser the lady knew that I hated my hair. And she was like, do you want me to take, oh. do you want me to take them out of the packet and um, I'll cut them into your, we'll put them in and I'll cut them into your hair and I was like no thanks, I just wanted to get out of there. So these are a bit different to ones I've had before. You get one big one, which is a four clipper, and then you get a three clipper. You get two three clippers, and then you get three of these, like two, two pieces, which I've never had these before. I've normally had just like a big load so should we put them in for a laugh and see if they can match at all to this dark hair it's virtually black <sighs> i'm really depressed over it hang on normally i would get normally i'd get like a sectioning comb and the back comb all the pieces of the hair so it stayed in but I'm not really going to do that today. I don't know whether this one. No. So I might start with a two-piece. Although they're probably for the sides. If you're looking for like a tutorial of how to put hair extensions in, honestly switch off now because I'm not the person to do that. I just try to be like a girly person. So the freer fits in the bottom section that I've made and doesn't really blend in so far does it? But let's keep going. clips are nice I will say that and the extensions probably would have matched my hair better until the hairdresser like totally I'm really quite annoyed I don't think I'll go back to her because I did like take these in and say to her they need to match you need to can you tone down the blonde a bit because they need to match then I suppose the blonde is quite dark on these but that's what I wanted because I've just got a bit sick of the if you bleach your hair over and over and over eventually it does get really damaged mine was getting really damaged and these hair extensions that are really silky honestly really really silky nice hair I don't think I've really gone on about them and moaning about my own hair um they are really nice they're really soft they're not really shedding a great deal um considering the price and can you see how shiny they are they are well really shiny let's carry on bodging this up honestly i would put these in better The clips are much better than the ones I've had before. They really feel secure. I wonder if we could put and then these tours. Is... 
So I'll go at the side. These actually might be a bit better than the ones I normally have because you can't normally choose where they go. So we've got two more tours to put in. I'll put down another layer. I'll put one in this side. Actually, I like these small pieces. Oh, that was a bit of a fail. Oh, this one's not a two piece, this is two one pieces. I don't know. So you can just sort of. I'm just going to have to practice putting these in because I don't normally have ones with one pieces and two pieces. So, so I've sort of I've managed to get them all in. Um, I just, they just need sort of blending a little bit. What I normally do is I normally like curl them. So I would normally curl them so they and then curl the ends of my hair so they would all blend through. Um, I'm yeah, I'm quite happy with them. They're really actually quite light. The old extensions that I had were really quite heavy. These feel really light. The clips feel really light. They don't feel bulky in the back of my head, which sometimes when you have them, um, all those little clips in, it feels like really mega bulky in the back of your head. I've worn clipping hair extensions for a long time now. Obviously, like I said, not all the time, but um, for special occasions and for, um, yeah, occasion wear really. And then I used to wear them in my videos last year a lot. If you can remember from like Vloggerween last year. It's usually when I start hating my hair, um, I'll do that. It's just the colour. The colour... I think. I'm just going to look in my phone. It does sort of match. It does sort of match, I've just taken a selfie, um, <laughs> um, but it's just I don't, I'm a bit shocked at having, I don't think I needed my hair so dark at the top. I used to have black hair, I used, my hair naturally is like a brunette colour anyway, but like a lighter, like a light really, like a light, lighter brown, like, um, I can't really remember, I've not even had my own hair colour since I was about 13, 14. So, just a bit of a shock having dark hair again. Um, not that I don't like it, it looks in better condition. Um, I don't know, don't know what to do. I don't really, I'm not going to say comment down below with which colour that you think is better because everyone will say the lighter one and then I really don't want to go and put bleach in my hair. I was considering it, I'm just hoping it will lighten by itself. My earring backs just fell out somewhere. It's another thing that I always lose is earrings. Is anyone else? So these Goo Goo, um, so they were, if you wanted to know, it doesn't actually say the colour on them, but if you want to know, leave me a comment down below and I'll try and find out if you wanted this similar colour. Um, which colours they have. They did have different colours on there. Um, it's really hard to, to, to like choose your colour on the on from a website i'll try and take some more photos in natural lighting because this ring light doesn't really if i turn it down no it looks even darker um it doesn't really give out like the proper color of what things are so i think they look a bit darker on the camera than what they do in real life so i'll take a few pictures in the sunlight because it's it's really sunny today I'll just show you that box again in case you want to know. So Goo Goo, they were 60, I think they were 61 pounds. Um, I'm just gonna see what they look like with my Ray-Bans on. Yeah, I like them with my Ray-Bans on. So I'll probably wear these. I'm gonna take these on holiday with me, obviously, if we go out anywhere. I've got, um, we're, did I tell you we're dressing up in Disney for Halloween? I have to be Cinderella. And now I have to be Cinderella with brown hair. Is that even a thing? I can't really change. Mm. Anyway, I'll stop moaning about my hair. Um, I hope you like this like demonstration and just in case you wanted to get some hair extensions and you can't afford like the price, I just thought 
they looked good i'm happy with them i'll keep you updated with how they last they never really do the last once you start washing them and um messing with them like heating the heat appliance even though they're real hair um they often go matted and um they don't really last longer than a year i would say um but these feel really nice honestly i just need to hide my hair there honestly you can blend them better you can curl them i would probably curl all these ends so or wave them so it didn't look so my like hair wasn't sticking out because i hate that so let me know what you think what do you think do you like them i like them and amazon so i don't know if they have their own website uh leave me a message down below if you want to know anything more and i will try and find out about them but i'm really happy with them happy um i need to put them in a bit better next time but yeah i'm really happy with them it's just my cut my hair color i'm not happy with so if it comes across in the video that i'm not happy with these i really am um i like the color I, the, if if i could have my hair bringing up a little bit into that color i'd be happy so maybe I should have been a little bit more clearer to the hairdresser with what but i don't know how much more clearer i could have been really i don't know she's they're really good hairdressers the ones i go to it's just that i don't like this color she liked it so these are these extensions um i'm really happy with them i'll give them i, I really want to give them a nine nine out of ten i want to give them and the only reason, I'm really happy with them, but the only reason why I wouldn't give 10 is because I'm not really for sure which way you're supposed to, I've never had them before, you get four, two, three years, and then all those little pieces, and I'm not really for sure where they're supposed to go. But once I learn that, um, I'll be really happy. So thank you, Goo Goo Hair, um, for making these hair extensions. It's really hard to find hair extensions that have like an ombre of, um, effect in them. I was happy to find these on Amazon for a really reasonable price. So take care and thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos. I will see you again real soon. Bye bye.